All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And as it says, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this lesson on uh, the Department of Homeland. Homeland. Not <laughs> no other. He's talking about the, the land of America. Okay. Homeland Security. The Department of Homeland Security chief said, if you knew what I knew about Tara, you'd never leave the house. Okay, I'm going to play this video and then I'm going to get some scriptures. Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly on Friday said the terror threat is worse than most realize, saying some people would, quote, never leave the house if they knew the truth. Kelly said on Fox and Friends this morning... Quote, I was telling Fox host Steve Ducey on the way in here, if he knew what I knew about terrorism, he'd never leave the house in the morning. He noted there were four major terror attacks in the last week in England, Egypt, the Philippines, and Indonesia by, quote, generally the same groups. Okay, and then it says, um, it continues to say, it's everywhere, it's constant, it's nonstop. The good news for us is America, I mean, for us in America, is we have amazing people protecting us every day. But it can happen here almost any time. Masked gunmen open fire on a group of Coptic Christians driving to a monastery in South Egypt on Friday, killing 26 and injuring 25 more. Okay, um, and there, I saw another... Um, article where he said uh, something about um, you know you he had you have fine uh, men and women uh, in and out of the uniform that are protecting this uh, country. Okay, so um, <clears throat> with that said, this is the secretary, okay, of USA, the United States Homeland Security, okay. Um, he said once again that if you knew what I knew, knew about terror, you'd never leave the house. Okay. Now, we know these stories that happen as far as, you know, um, like the Ariana Grande concert. Okay. We know about these stories, you know, that, uh, happen over in these other countries. Okay. And um, even on a, uh, the, the scale of uh, the things that happen here in um, the United States, or Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, okay? But he's talking about if you knew what he knew. And what do we know, man? We don't, we don't know half the stuff that, that he know, okay? Uh, because he's, you know, he's in the homeland security field, okay? Now, with that said, I'm going to get 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of Satan's, I mean, of his devices. Okay? Now, uh, he said you would never leave the house if you knew what he knew, right? And one of the devices that, uh, that Satan has, you know, uh, is the cameras. Okay? These, the, the so-called white man and homeland security... They know when people are leaving their houses, okay, um, th where you're at because your phone tracks you, okay, um, the, the cameras record the, the voices and the conversations that people have, um, and it's, you know, they currently, they, they always sur survey, or, or uh, we are under heavy surveillance all the time in this society, okay, um, one of the devices also is, you know, when you're gone, they have somebody that's that's set up like they're a cable guy that, that comes into your house or something, man. Okay? Or they go into your personal information. You know? So these the, the, the homeland security of America, you know, they they're pretty much in everything that uh you people uh, pretty much uh, live your every day to day life. Uh, they're pretty much already in it. They know your schedule. Okay, 
they're, they're in your phone. They know the, the, the things that you like. They know your name, okay? Um, you're in the system, man, especially if you're a, 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 a brother that's in the truth, okay? You have uh, different movies like Enemy of the State, um, and then you also got this movie called uh, Snowden, you know, that, that people uh, should, should look at. But the so-called white man, you know, um, the the devices and stuff that they have, you know, it's all to 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 know where your whereabouts are, okay, and and that they're trying to play as if they're God, okay, um, and then you can't even you can't even go out, you know, to a concert to see you know your a uh, 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 performance or go to a um. Go to a, a, a event without something happening now, nowadays, man. Okay, some it don't even have to be um, um, a so-called false flag attack because that's all they are. That's all they are for real. You know, you could go to a, a, a club or something, and you know, you you make a mistake and step on on somebody's shoes the wrong way, and a nigga just try to uh, blow your head off, man. Just off of that, man. You know. So, so this, this, man, this, this society is wicked, man. Okay. Um, things are going to get worse because we're one, you know, literally one false flag attack, you know, on American soils, uh, from, from this, uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. This is Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, come my people into thou into thy chambers. Okay, your house, it says, uh, and shut your doors about you, hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Because when when these things happen, okay, you have, you know, a, a attack or something like an EMP, you know, it could be a pocket nuke, whatever, you know, these things happen, they're going to bring in martial law and they're going to um, start rounding people up, okay, and the ones that aren't protected, you know, by the, by the, the Lord, they're going to be caught up in that mess, okay, um, the scriptures say, you know, hide yourself, man, you know, if it, if it were for a little woman, you know, um, it ain't, it ain't no going out, you know, during those times, man, okay, and and it's really not it's really not no no uh you really not supposed to be going out nowadays anyway man you know sometimes a brother brothers might step out get a drink or something like that you know go do something go you, you got a woman go out you know what I'm saying you still you still got a life and stuff like that but you know for the for the most part the main thing should be you know hey chill man the scriptures say Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents man. You know, um, it says Isaiah 26 and 21, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth shall, I mean, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. You know, it's going to be a lot of people out here that are, that are, that are going to be dying, man. Okay. Um, and, and you people. Are you know steady? You know they, they they sleep. You know, uh, you see the, the 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 times that are coming. You know, people still want to uh uh be in uh the college field and uh the time of graduation and you know partying and uh holidays. You know, trying to trying to uh store up money. Buying houses and stuff, man. We not in the time for this stuff, man. This is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Which is talking about America, man. Okay? You have to spiritually leave America. You know? You don't, you don't physically leave America because this, this new world order that's going to come is pretty much going to be all over the place, man. You ain't going to be able to go anywhere and, and have... Uh, a peace or, 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 or a peace of mind, okay, it says, because it is polluted, 
it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. And that's what's going to happen, man. Okay, if you if you love this place called America, you know when this when a famine of the, the word or well yeah the famine of the word when the um the famine and the diseases and the the martial law you know the dollar bill crash all of these things are going to come and, and and you know you people aren't going to know what to do man it's you're going to get destroyed alongside with this society okay this is Isaiah 32 and uh 18 it says and my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and insured dwellings and in quiet resting places okay and this is how you know that them so-called fake Jews over there, or the, the not so-called fake Jews, because they are the real fake Jews, you know. Uh, the, the the fake Jews over there in the land of Israel, you know, they're not dwelling in a peaceable habitation. They're not, they, they don't have safe dwellings or quiet resting places, man. You know, they study over there sending missiles off and stuff, man. Okay, but this is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Especially here in Baltimore, where there's so many vacant houses and stuff, man. You know the 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 neighborhoods are destroyed. You know you don't have no safe, no short dwellings in this place, man. Okay, and and and, and then the the times that are about to come, you're gonna have a lot of niggas lighting firecrackers and st and stuff at night, man. You don't know if that's gonna be gunshots or what, man. You know, there ain't gonna be no quiet resting places. But the Lord is is saying that in the kingdom. You know, because we have a we have a rest. You know, it's just not here in this society. You know, when when the Lord uh, comes back, okay, after He destroys this place, as the scriptures say, the Lord is going to come out His place. You know, to punish the inhabitants of this earth. Okay, uh, Psalm thirty two and seven, right? Uh, it says, "Thou art my hiding place; thou shalt preserve me from trouble." And this is what's going to happen when, you know, the martial law and all these things happen, you know, during those times. You know, the elect is going to be uh, preserved, you know, the ones that have the name of the Lord, okay, which his name is not Jesus. Um, it says, thou shalt compass me about with, with songs of deliverance, Salah, okay, and that's what our mindset is, you know, when, when, when this uh, terror start uh, compassing people, you know, a lot of trouble uh, starts happening. You know, the elect is going to hide in the, uh, in the Lord, okay? Um, I got this scripture, uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in, into it and is safe. So that's what's going to happen, man. During those times, the men of the Lord, the, the, the chosen elect they're going to hide man and the lord are going to preserve them from the trouble okay and he's going to deliver them people you know uh during that uh time okay the time that it's going to come and um with this with that said i got this scripture in matthew 24 and 42 watch therefore okay if you for you know not what hour your lord doth come when the one of the world it really calls jesus when he comes man which his name is Yahweh Shah, okay? We don't know when he's going to come, okay? But know this, that if the good man of the house had known and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. And this scripture can go uh, many, many different ways, man, okay? And, and the, the thief man in this situation is the so-called white man. Okay, and and like like is the lesson is talking about. If you knew what I knew about terror, you'd never leave the house, man. So if the good man in the house knew what hour the, the thief would come, he would have watched. Okay, and even even you know during the martial law, you know they, they they like to do a lot of stuff when when people are asleep. You know they know when you sleep. You know, so during those times, man. You know, the righteous, the, the, the men of the Lord, they're going to be preserved, man. Okay? Some of us might get, get caught up in it, you know? Uh, but at the end of the day, our hope and our, pr our prayer 
is toward Yahweh by Shem Okay? So with that, man, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Um, I want to say Shalom till next time.